Folks, I had a really titillating and rather disturbing experience the other day. I guess you wonder how something can be both of those things, but this really was. <sighs> Imagine this. I, uh, As you know, I live in the same house with my partner, Davy Pena, and he was busy at his computer. Well, I, I went into my bedroom and decided I would take a bit of a nap because I'd been working rather hard on the book, and uh, which is coming along swimmingly, incidentally. I uh, drifted off into the arms of Morpheus, as they often say. Well, not too often, but often enough. And woke under strange circumstances. I, I don't know what triggered it off. Uh, I started to think. I said, wow, you know, that's one thing I've never done. I have never ridden an elephant. Now, this is, these are secrets that I'm revealing to you. That Ever since I was a kid, I wanted to ride on an elephant. But at the same time, I thought to myself, but i got to remember, I don't want a painted elephant. Because I've always figured that elephants are very uncomfortable being painted up like circus elephants, for example. And uh, I thought I'd like to get on just a plain old gray elephant. Well, I was on my way to the office, as I said. I, I almost had reached the office, and I heard Davy call me from his room. He was at his computer, and I went over there and walked into the room, and I was stunned. He had wanted to talk to me about something completely different, but there on his big computer, he's got a big, big computer display, was a painted elephant with a guy on its back. Now, that kind of a coincidence is really hard to explain. I wasn't mumbling in my sleep or anything like that. When I told him about this experience, he was a little freaked out too. Now, it was a coincidence, but it was a remarkable coincidence. I, that's the only thing I can think of, but I now understand much more clearly how the average person having a coincidence of this nature occur to them would be spooked out and might think, oh, I, I have some sort of psychic powers. I was reading somebody else's mind or Davy was reading Randy's mind or whatever. Now, Davy was actually looking at illustrations of different design motifs because he needed some inspiration for some artwork that he's doing. Uh, that's why he was just rotating images around his screen. But he happened, at the moment that I walked into his room, happened to have the painted elephant up there with the one guy up top. I think still that it is a remarkable coincidence, but as I say, I now understand with a, with a further degree of intensity just how the average person out there, so to speak, can come to the conclusion that this must have been paranormal because they just can't accept that kind of a remarkable coincidence. Now, if those remarkable coincidences didn't happen, as I've said many times, there would be something wrong there because chance just calls for them to happen every now and then. If they never happened, it would be much more remarkable than the fact that they do happen. But for what that's worth, I'll leave it with you. This is James Randi, as you had no doubt, right? The Randi Show is a production of the James Randi Educational Foundation. To learn more about how we promote science and critical thinking, go to randi.org.